WebStorm has some great refactoring features built in for working with React and TypeScript applications. So I want to show by example, looking at this meal plan sidebar component that I have here. And just to show, and this is a ugly on purpose application in the current state here, the sidebar is listing the ingredients and the shopping list. If we look in the component definition, there's quite a lot going on here as we walk through. And I mostly want to focus on extracting everything that's going into calculating this accumulated ingredients. I want to show how we can extract this using a few features that are baked into WebStorm and let the IDE do the heavy lifting for us. So the only value that we need here is accumulated ingredients. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this whole statement and trigger the refactor dialog in WebStorm, extract this out to a method. And this is going to ask us, do we want to do this within the component or in the global scope? Let's select the global scope. And this will automatically extract this out given the inputs that it needs. And we'll call this accumulate ingredients. Now, if we jump up to that, we can see that it has brought along that type. It saw that that was an array of recipes that we were working with. It's extracted to the logic. While we're in here, we can do a few more refactor intentions to clean this up. I can trigger the refactor dialog, inline the variable, which is option command N for inline. And if I undo that, we'll notice that WebStorm is giving us a little hint here. If I trigger our intention dialog with option return, this gives us a hint that says, oh, do you want to inline this variable? We can let WebStorm suggest those types of things for us. The more intentions we can explore, if we trigger it on this for each, it suggests replacing this with the for of loop. We'll go ahead and replace both of these. And to pull this out into its own module, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna trigger the move intention here. And this is selecting accumulate ingredients, which is the function we extracted. I'm gonna go ahead and actually extract this out just into its own module with the same name, accumulate ingredients. And if we follow this, that, that brought along all of its imports that it needs. We follow it back to its usage. It has auto imported in the module. And now we've extracted that from inline logic that was bloating up our component into a private function within the module. And we pulled that out into its own module so that we can reuse it and maybe add some tests around it.